Hello and welcome. This is the basic install of CentOS 6.5. Uh, we're going to be doing the regular install of the uh, OS here, and this is going to be a minimal install. So with the minimal install, it's going to be just the basic uh, packages that you need to get a Linux server up and running uh, You know, with everything that is required that you would need to build like a standard server and stuff like that. Um, everything that I do pretty much on this blog will start from this point, and then I'll build from this uh, one one type of uh, OS system that's installed, and then I'll go into different details on each side of it, like setting up PHP, setting up a web server, uh, setting up an FTP server, you know, even a secure FTP server, stuff like that. Um, what you're gonna do now here, this is actually set up in a uh, virtual machine. Um, from that, I am going to you know give it 10 gig disk space and go through the, the basic installs. Uh, so here we're gonna do a regular install in a 10 gig space. And here we'll say skip because we do not want to check the uh, media. Let me know what's good. Uh, select our language. So whatever language you are, uh, area you can select that. Um, we're going to be installing from the URL, and we're going to be using IP version four. Uh, from that, we're going to go to the mirror site. CentOS. This will all be in the notes. And right now, uh, download the install image. And I'll be uh, trying to uh, clean up a lot of the stuff so that you don't have to sit there and wait and watch the uh, percentages. I'll just uh, stop and start at different percentages to make it go by a lot faster. Um, my goal is to keep most of these videos at like five minutes or less, no longer than 10 minutes. Um, I know from personal experience, it's not really uh, too fun sitting there watching a whole bunch of uh, stuff that's going on and it gets to the point where you know you just kind of get bored and end up uh, turning it off or not not listening to what's going on so I'll try to keep these like I said uh, five minutes or less and, and no more than ten minutes uh, per video my goal is to do at least a couple videos per week um, New Year's resolution in a way for uh, 2014 but we'll see how it goes and I uh, hope you do enjoy these and as again this is just a uh, base install of the minimal uh, CentOS 6.5 um, after we're done with this one, I'll be uh, showing you how to upgrade, update, um, add different repositories to the uh, install process so that you can get different uh, types of uh, products from you know, updated websites, uh, Apple, EPEL, will be another one that we'll be adding in there so we can get some uh, extended programs uh, that way that we can install. And once again, please give me feedback. Um, I am, I'm curious if these are worthwhile if I should continue doing the videos um, stop doing the videos uh, I, I know sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words and uh, I'm going to be putting some uh, the words to this as well so I mean if the videos are helpful that's great if they're not uh, please let me know as well hey okay, this is initial sent off screen we're gonna hit next here Go to basic storage, and yes, we can discard data. We'll rename this later on. I just want to get through the base install here. Give it a password. And we use all this space in this one. Right, change it to disk. And here we'll select minimal. And next. And it'll basically go through and check packages.
and going through the uh, standard install packet uh, process here. Um, it should be about, I think, 217 packages uh, that will install, and then after that you'll have to reboot the system, and that will be uh, up and running. Uh, at that point, I will uh, create another video uh, showing you basically how I uh, disable the firewalls and stuff like that, and then we'll, at the very end, when it gets more advanced, I'll show you how to turn the firewalls on and create the proper uh, uh, firewall rules and stuff like that. But initially, just to get started, it's, it's easier just to have everything kind of wide open. Um, I know it's not the most secure, but it's, it's the easiest for um, learning the system, and then you can start really locking it down and, and, and changing it. Once again, I'll go through and uh, try to make this a little bit faster, um, you know, trying to keep within that 5 to 10 minute range for videos. Um, one thing to also remember is after this is complete, you're going to reboot it, and then you'll be back, you know, up into a regular uh, command line stuff. So if you're used to Windows and stuff like that, I highly recommend uh, getting an SSH uh, client. Putty is a great one. Uh, I'll put some links in there that you can get that to uh, connect to it and basically just put in the IP address. Um, once this is finished installing, it will be locked down with the firewall rules and stuff like that, but I'll show you how you can disable those um, so you can do a lot more with it and allow, allow more connectivity and uh, more things. And then we'll get down to the point where we'll really start tightening it down for security reasons. Uh, but other than that, it's just it's going along as it's supposed to be right now, and then uh, when it's done, done finishing doing this, it'll do a reboot, and then we'll be back up into the uh, uh, console. Also, just to add a little bit more information is, is this will, uh, uh, once it's installed, you know, you'll you'll have a, a, a base system, but from that point on, I mean, you can you can make it anything you want. You can make it a you know, media server, FTP server, web server, music server, uh, pretty much whatever you're, you know, whatever you want to make it. I mean, that, that's the beautiful thing about Linux is, you know, if there's a, a, a use that you need or want, you can make it do what you want it to do. Okay, we're done with the uh, base install. I'm going to reboot it and let you see how it comes up. Okay, now we're ready for the next steps, which will be in the next video. Thank you for your time. Again, this is on infobing14.net, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.